What is up guys? Do you know the difference between an original pressing, a repressing, and a remastered record? I am going to tell you how, and I'm going to tell you how to search to see if it is a first pressing or an original pressing. You can call it either first pressing or original pressing. I'm going to teach you how to look up what site to look up on and see what your records are worth that you are buying to resell. Like I told you in the first video, if you haven't watched the first video, go back and watch the first video and put a hashtag in, and you'll find the hashtag. If you watch the whole video and give a thumbs up, uh, if you I see in the comments, you've written the right hashtag. Uh, for both videos, I won't tell you what the hashtag is, you've got to watch and you'll find out what it is during this video. If you have on both videos, both hashtags, and the corresponding likes, and if you share on Instagram the videos as well, you get an extra bonus entry into the competition. Uh, but I will be sending out this five-piece vinyl cleaning set to the lucky winner when we do the big spin draw on a live. So uh, your chance to win this, all you gotta do is watch this video and give it a thumbs up, and you're learning at the same time. So here we go, we got Kiss's original album here. Unfortunately, it's got the, the Flipper Curse, it's because someone's written Frank on there. Um, so there's a nice sleep, original sleep cover that it came in. But is this the original album? Is this the original Kiss album? So let's have a look. Still in the cardboard. Looks original to me. Now I'm pretty sure the original had an insert. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure the original had an insert. It does say 1974 Casablanca Records. Okay, let's have a look. Now I taught you in the first one how to hold the records. You not get your fingerprints all over them. You want to put your finger in the middle and on the side and hold them like that. Don't drop them. And like I taught you in the first episode, if there's a big scratch on there, it is not saving. You are not saving it. So let's see if this record is an original KISS record. Is this the first pressing of the first KISS album? Or is this a remastered repressing? I don't know, let's have a look. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. On the sticker part here, you want to see that it is by the original Casablanca. We have catalog numbers. We have catalog numbers, heaps of numbers here, and this is what we'll be using. This is what you want to use, these catalog numbers here. And this is what we're going to find out if it's first pressing, or if it's a, a second pressing, or if it's even a remastered down the line uh, that they sell in JB Hi-Fi. Okay, so with Discogs, I am going to type in the catalog number here. 6399057, or I can just type in LC3272, that will come up as well. All this stuff here is your information. Let's see what release mine was. So we'll just type in KISS initially. There's the album there. So there's the album of KISS, it's the original album, first album from KISS. Okay, so this is Wicked, it tells you all the songs that are on there, you can even click on them and have a little listen if you want to. Uh, first released by uh, Casablanca Labels. Now here is all the catalogue numbers, here is all the catalogue numbers if you want to search through all this crap. The very first one, there is your original pressing, there is your first, first one from the US. But let's find your version that you've got. So let's type in LC32 72 and let's see what we get and let's see what my KISS album is. So uh, the number here I've got is 6399057 right there. Unknown and 6399057. Zero five seven. That is my one right there. My one was released in not in 1974. It's not an original pressing. It was released in 1980 from the Netherlands. Even though it's all in English from the Netherlands, and you can see what your kind of value is uh, from your marketplace because there is seven for sale from 24 no uh, 24 bucks. So let's have a look. It's all in. Uh, 
So 15 pounds, 28 pounds, 25 pounds, 24 pounds, 26 pounds, 30 pounds, 30 pounds. So that is the pressing that I have for my KISS record. So uh, what's uh, $28 there, $28, so about, the, we're looking at about $40. We're looking at about $40 uh, Australian. And right there, that right there, what I just highlighted there is the catalog number right there. But of course, mine's got the flipper curse, mine's got writing on uh, Ace Freely's face there, so it won't be worth as much. You've got to be smart uh, when you are pricing all your records. Let's have a look at some of my other records. I am curious at some of my other records. I have the Beatles Let It Be. Let's see if this is an original pressing. Very thick, very thick album this one. This feels thicker than normal. And we've got some inserts in there as well, which uh, makes me happy. Uh, that's not good. Few, fair few scratches on this one, but not enough to uh, not keep it. But let's type in the catalog number to let it be. Okay, so this was released in 1970. So Beatles. Let it be. All right, Beatles let it be. Is this one right now? And my catalog number, where are we? Catalog number, okay. So we'll scoop down here. 1970 it came out. Let's find my version. Y-E-X dot which was on there as well, underneath it. As you can see, this one here is a reissue in 1973. But it's looking like mine is an original pressing, but it's an Australian pressing, not a UK one. People have written a lot about it here. So mine is an Australian YEX774, yep, that's on the B-side label, that is, yes. And that is on the other side of the label, correct. With no price, no price telling me what this one is worth. But I do have an original, no. There we go, I've got a reissue. So I've got a reissue. It's not the first one that came out. This is the reissue. No one has it for sale, so there's no price on there for me. Okay, here we go. So we got PCS 70.96. That was what was on mine. Yes, they're the codes on each side. Thank you very much. But this is a reissue, this is not the original one. One for sale from $36. On this, on Discogs, on Discogs. Okay. So even though it was released in that year, it wasn't the first one that came out, it was the next lot that came out. So not your original pressing, but look at this. Got all the original stuff in here. So beauty, your little beauty, look at that. But not original. Same year, same year, but not not original. It's the second lot, second lot that came out. Let's have a look at one more. Let's have a look at one more. All right, we got AC/DC TNT, one of the greatest albums of all time. All right. Once again, this is pretty dirty, I need to give it a wash. Here's all our codes here. 1975, this came out. Okay, so AC, DC, TNT. Let's find it. Mine's a fold-out cover. Mine's wicked. So, 150 uh, copies from sale from $15. It's all the track listings. But let's see our version. Yeah. 
Jeffrey's gonna run out on the computer, so this is definitely the last one. Suck. So we got Y A P A X. One, two, back off. Two, one, three. All right, Alpa, 016 mine is, 1975, oh, there, 16, right here, so, one of these two, whoa, one for sale from $118, and this is a repress. <laughs> So it's not the original pressing, so you've got to be careful when you are saying that it is an original press just because it's from the original year that it came out doesn't mean it was the first lot that went out for sale. It might be the second lot that went out for sale when they did a whole heap more. So this is what you really got to be careful of because collectors will pin you on this. So as you see, this is a repress, but it still goes for about $120, this uh, ACDC album. Um, and there was another one right underneath it with the same code. But this one goes for $350. Okay, but theirs is a misprint. Theirs is a misprint for some reason. And they're things that you need to look more into. Uh, their notes say, gatefold cover, blue center labels, and kangaroo. Well, this doesn't have a blue center label. It's got a yellow center label. And no kangaroos. Uh, with misprint, with misprint cover, misprint. So that's why theirs is three hundred and fifty dollars because it's a misprint. It's first release misprint with the same code, um, and it's got a blue label. So read the little things as well, uh, just to people who write in what their albums are all about. So this one has the same code, but it's a little bit different. Has laminated cover. All the info of the catalog numbers that you need to know. You can get a lot of information from this website. I'm going to start checking a lot of my other ones. Um, I've got heaps of other ones that I want to check out, like the original Muppet movie, and I know this is the original Muppet movie with the fold out. So, actually, we'll have a quick look at the Muppet movie while we're doing this, and then I'm going to give you the code. And that original ACDC has a fold out as well and this site will also tell you a lot about this site will actually tell you a lot about um, what pressings have what so will it be a fold out will there be inserts in there will there be posters in there all that type of shit as well let's look up the Muppets the original movie Muppet soundtrack we'll have a look at this and then we'll go I'll give you the code during this, I think. The Muppet Movie soundtrack. All right, 128 for sale at $4.87. Wow. So my cover is different to that. Okay, so my cover is different to that. S B P 23 73. 77. I picked this up at the markets for, yep, and that's my cover right there, different to the other one. Okay, 77, um, let's see, so mine I think is Australian, 1979, yes, this goes for about $15, so you'll probably get about 15, 20 bucks, uh, LP. And this is the original, because they did not make any other versions of it. Oh. Complete with poster, so tells you there, has a poster in it. Few other versions, but the other versions are a Walt Disney version, which came out in 2014. So they did redo it in 2014, but there was no other pressings of it. 
US, Canada, Netherlands. So, and then Australia and New Zealand. Nate, Australia and New Zealand had different covers to the other ones. I wouldn't be surprised if this is worth more than what it actually uh, says on here because you can make up your own prices as well. So they're saying $15, which doesn't mean shit. Uh, and there you go. So that's the Muppet Movie soundtrack. And I picked that up for five bucks at a uh, record convention, actually. Record convention. I had heaps of other vinyls here I did want to go through, but everything would just take too much time. Um, had heaps of old Warriors ones that I wanted to look up. Wanted to just let you know, you know, stuff like Red Hot Chili Peppers. This is a new new version, and you can tell the new versions compared to the old stuff anyway. So, anyway, if you want to know more about vinyls, I can do some more. Uh, maybe I'll do a live. I can do a live. I'm going to do a live soon, and... Um, you have never heard Doors Soft Parade, this is an amazing album. I bought this and I have not taken it out of the plastic, so I've still got the cover, plus the actual cover that's unopened. Ah, uh, love Doors Soft Parade. Alright guys, code word for this one. Uh, if you want to be in the draw for the uh, five piece of vinyl cleaning set, if you've uh, already thumbsed up, go in and put hashtag... Let's put hashtag... Uh, the Muppets. The Muppets. Because that was the last record that we saw. The Muppets. Hashtag The Muppets. Hashtag The Muppets. And um, if you want an extra draw, go on to Instagram, share this video. Make sure you've thumbs it up. Go back and watch the other video because I want to see that you've hashtagged both. I'm not telling you what the code was for the first one, but if you want to win this five piece final cleaning kit, there you go. Alright, guys. Share, like, subscribe, uh, click down there, put the little bell icon so you can see all the other videos. I'm gonna do more videos for you soon. Um, I'm gonna do another vinyl video and I'm gonna go through uh, all of my Kiss albums. I'm gonna go through all of my Kiss albums and uh, let you know what all the Kiss albums are worth. Um, are they worth picking up and stuff like that, okay? So we'll go through all the Kiss albums, which is gonna be a fun one, but it's gonna take a while to film that one. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you later.